Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a really sexy girl body shape in Unreal Engine. Before that, you need to have the character creator tree. This is another software. We are going to use this software to create the sexy girl. So first, we start from here. By default, this is the default avatar of the character creator tree. You click here, and you click currently use. You should be able to see that it already have a body morph of the neutral female we are going we are going to add more alright so first you go to the full body and you drag, drag here down you should be able to see a body tint you make the body tint a bit like this next Go to the chest and then we are going to increase the size of the chest. This one. Wait. Here. It is about 30. The breast scale B, you put it about 30. Or you want it to be smaller, maybe it's 20. To increase a bit. The next one is the waist here. Adjust a little bit. Abdom the abdomen scale you can just make it like negative a little bit like this that is the ab abdomen scale you want this curve all right next we are going to give give her give her a hairstyle you just need to click here and select a hairstyle from here the group the hair, legacy, CC, I will give her a simple hairstyle, a high ponytail, next I'm going to give her a makeup, click here, I choose this, the intellectual, these are just makeups, Once it's it finished applying, it will appear the editor, you have to untick it to close the editor. Then after that she will back to back to here. Next we are going to apply some cloth. I click here. First you, you look at the bra, it has some collision problems here. Press Q and double click it to select it and click confirm. Click here, click confirm. Calculate the collisions to make it perfect. Now here, one more, calculate the collision. All right, in general, there should be no problem already. We are going to dress, dress her. Click here, click the shirt. And for this time, I'm going to apply a tank top, double click. And the next, I'm going to apply a pant. Give her a pant at here. Under the pant. Alright, now. Next, I will give her a shoes. I choose from here. Apply a shoes for her. Alright. Now, 
she already become a sexy girl with the custom where I already modified the shape of the body, the breast size, etc. So next, I will transfer this sexy girl to Unreal. Sorry, to transfer it to Iclone first. First, you must must already open the Iclone Seven, and from CC Three, from Character Creator Three, you click here. Send it to Iclone. And at here, you need to wait for a while until it finish load. This is Iclone Seven. You have to wait. Now you can see it finished transfer to Iclone 7 already. At this moment, you need to have the Iclone Unreal Live link that already installed in your Iclone 7. And at the same time, your Unreal Engine project here, you need to you need to install the Iclone Unreal Live link in your Unreal Engine as well. If you already done this part, what you need to do is from your iClone, make sure you press Q and select it. Next, you open your iClone Unreal Life link in your, your iClone 7. You untick everything. And you only want to select the character. But before that, you go to the scenes and rename your character's name. Double click it and name, name her as SexyGirl01. Enter. Now, this is the name. Next, you back to the icon and real life link, and I want to change change the cloth color. I double click here, the base color. I just want to delete it. Now it is totally white color. I want to change another color, diffuse color. I change it to red. Pink, or I change it to red, just like this. All right, now next in your icon and real life link, you only tick the sexy girl zero one, and then you click transfer the file. And at this moment, you need to wait in your Unreal Engine here. You need to wait. Wait until it finish transfer. It will appear at. It will appear at here. Just wait for a while. Now. Now it is finished transfer already. It automatic will be in this folder. Contents, resolution contents sexy girl zero one. And you can see it. It automatic place at here. So we are going to delete this. Press delete. And next step, what we are going to do is go to go to the content folder, go to the mannequin character, go to the mesh. You should be able to see a UE4 mannequin skeleton. You need to double click it, click the retarget manager, select rig, select as a humanoid, and save. Next, close. All right. Next, you back to mannequins folder, go into the animation. You can see a third person animation blueprint at here. Right click it, retarget and retarget. At this moment, you have to choose girl 01, sorry, the sexy girl 01. This at here, sexy girl 01. Then you click retarget. Then it will automatic back to the content folder next step what you are going to do is click here and click the third person animation blueprint press f2 to rename it add an underscore at behind add an underscore then you click sexy girl 01 enter next what you are going to do is go to the third person blueprint blueprint all right, you should be able to see a third person character here. By default, you can see it is at here. By default, this default map, you can see a mannequin is here. In order to, to make, make your sexy girl to become the main avatar, you have to delete. You have to delete the mannequin from the map. At the same time, 
the third person character mana queens you have to right click it and duplicate next now it's, it's your time to rename it you put an underscore behind and name her as girl G sexy girl zero one so enter next you double click in click the mesh click the viewport the skeleton mesh you have to change it to sexy girl zero one here sexy girl zero one next you have to choose an animation class you change it to third person animation blueprint sexy girl zero one now next you can click compile and close and this is the final moment you want to change it to become the main avatar you click here edit project setting maps and modes the selected game modes here, the default point class, this is the main avatar of the game. You change it to become the third person character, sexy girl 01. It, it will automatic save. And now you can close this window. If you try to play your game, you can see this sexy girl 01 already become the main avatar of the game. And she's here. She can jump, she can walk, and you can make her to become the NPC as well. You press escape. The third person character, sexy girl zero one. You can drag it out, and you press E. Then you can rotate it. Now this is an NPC. When you try to play, now you are the main avatar. You are using the sexy girl zero one as the main avatar. At the same time, you can see this is a sexy girl NPC stand at the side. Of course, you can change the animations as well to make her look look better all right that's all for today about how to create a sexy girl in unreal engine and make the sexy girl to become the main avatar or any of the npc of your game and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animations and game developing. See you.